Hello and welcome back. On the on the last episode, we uh, we started looking around with Dog, so of all people, and uh, to our surprise, the main two suspects, Bunny and Horse, are uh, well. Horse is dead, and we have the body right in front of us. Whereas Horse is, uh, we assume Bunny is dead, and his body is missing. Out of the options we have to investigate, I think we should look underneath the body. See what the body has fallen on, because you know things. Because horse might have been trying to do something as he's fallen over. So I'm going to go with below the body. The answer was uh, had to be somewhere in the crime scene, beneath that smouldering wreckage of uh, of a body. Lay, lay vital clues. I knew it. And so I got to work. It was not appealing. It was not appealing work. Sorry. Moving the corpse uh, it, in this instance wasn't as simple as rolling it over. I had to actually move chunks out of the way. I was just ox I thought we were talking about um, horse's body. I felt like barfing. I would kill for a pair of gloves or something to help. Uh, but slowly and surely, I made my way through the wreck. Thanks for helping, dog. At the bottom, there was uh, something, anything, and that would light up uh, the way. Before long, dogs book up. Uh, mouse? Uh, you keep doing what you're doing, but I'm gonna go inform the others about this. You better not die, dog, because we know that you're innocent. Yeah, yeah, you do that. I shoot him away. We'll focus on solving the crime. Uh, on we'll solving the case. Uh, I paid a little mind and, uh, when I heard the sound of footsteps leaving the room. And unfortunately, I also paid uh, a little mind when I heard the sound of footsteps entering the room. Well, in a vacuum that would uh, not be suspicious, uh, but only one set, uh, set of them. In this context, I really should have seen it coming. Instead, uh, my back was entirely uh, turned to my assailant, and that was the mistake. I simply could not have... Oh, are we dead already? Okay, okay. And ten seconds after the footstep into the room, I was on the ground bleeding. Thirty seconds after they had entered the room, I was dead. 25, uh, 250 seconds after they had entered the room, small footsteps into the room and found my corpse. Okay, and, uh, Jack and Dan is that Domino's? Mouse's fate, uh, Mouse's fate in this timeline is surprisingly complex. The reason her murder uh, doesn't come uh, clear unless uh, you look at the entire board of Domino's. Yep. However, one way or the other, she would definitely become a target if she wastes too much time at the crime scene. Perhaps obvious re uh, perhaps, for perhaps obvious reasons, the path is not good uh, for our long-term uh, sustainability. And so, to keep searching is a better, better line of play. Okay, I didn't expect to lose instantly. So we got to leave. Thanks for telling us that. The answer had to lie in this room. I just didn't know where. Uh, frustrated, I started looking around. Uh, I, it wasn't, I wasn't looking... Uh, somewhere in particular, just walking around the place that could just consider suspicious. I was familiar with the layout of the room. I already searched through it before, so I I'm sure I could find any secret that it may lie, uh, lie dormant in any nook or cranny. Before long, dogs woke up. A uh, mouse. If you keep on doing what you're doing. I was going to look around, uh, go for information about the other, uh, inform the others about this. Hey, you do that. Uh, shoot them away, solving the case. It's just it's not it's different information. Uh. I just found a curious discovery in a uh, side closet. Uh, I was also trying to figure out what I could mean. Paid little attention when I heard footsteps leave. Fortunately, okay. Oh, is this also the wrong in ending? Yep. Jack of diamonds. So we got a above the corpse? Uh, uh, on this, all three of them are the, above the body. Force didn't show in the air through the all. Uh, nobody could have. Which means the oil uh, did come from a person. In that case, it came from the ceiling. Uh, was it uh, conclusive about uh, absolutely concerned? Y yes. Did I know uh, how it tied in into everything else? No. But when you eliminate the impossible, all uh, that's left, uh, however improbable, is the truth. I guess. Honestly, uh, the moment I got to work, I started to feel like, a little dumb. But there was uh, no time to hesitate. It was, uh, there were clues pointing uh, to the conclu this conclusion. I just had to trust my instincts and, uh, 
follow the, uh, this lead through. And so uh, I pulled over the desk, climbed uh, on it and looked up to the ceiling tile. Sure enough, there was one directly above Ox, uh, where Ox was sitting. It would have... Uh, and wouldn't you know it, looking closely, uh, it looked like three or uh, four of its sides were already broken off. I reached uh, up and sit with a simple push, uh, and I was able to loosen the tile. It swung down, uh, holding, uh, only holding a single tile. Oh, only ho holding a single side tile. And, to both my surprise and delight, the other side of the tile, uh, as well oil stains. Oil definitely been uh, bored on the top of the uh, this tile at some point. I poked my head around uh, a bit more, and I thought uh, I saw something sitting on the area above the ceiling tile. I reached around and pulled it down the end of the uh, that up being a speaker. Ooh. Uh, speaker? It looked like the type of high school uh, we keep, perhaps uh, in their locker. Uh, I hooked up to it, uh, some sort of MP3. I looked around. Uh, I looked around uh, to the speaker room, uh, some more, and I noticed that there was a bit of a slot in it. A slot that could perhaps uh, be a portable remote. Uh, okay, just one more uh, thing to confirm. Uh, I took out the MP3 and uh, looked at the songs. Sure enough, why? Well, uh, one that was playing uh, on the loop matched the song that had previously been playing during the ritual. Uh, with this, all the mysteries had been solved. Uh, the way Inox had met his end and it had been illuminated to me, and there was exactly one person who had the opportunity to solve this up. Uh, that's the who done it and how, uh, how, how they've done it. The why they've done it uh, is still unsure. But, uh, generally, the culprit uh, got to supply that. Uh, got to supply that themselves. Okay. For now, uh, okay. Bigger issue. Uh, thinking about it uh, carefully from this position, person's uh, person's next setup should be. Go oh, quickly. Uh, do you know where Dragon the Rooster uh, went to look? Dragon the Rooster? Uh, I thought that particular... Uh, that pair head towards the... I saw that... I thought I saw that uh, hip pair head towards the hallway on the second floor. Why, what's wrong? Uh, a lot. Find Tiger as soon as possible uh, and get her to come to the second floor. I'll do what I can in the meantime. Uh, this is urgent, dog. Uh, do you understand me? Um, rooster and... Uh, okay, so... That means we're skipping Tiger and Bunny. Um, hold on. No, Bunny's dead. Uh, so after Bunny would be... Copy loud and clear. I put some, uh, some pep into my step. Okay, so, so we're all dominoes falling down. So who's killing us? Because uh, again, in this timeline, this would be... This would be Monkey. Uh, Monkey's timeline, right? Dog and I uh, head around out of the classroom and split up. I only hope I could uh, get there in time. Around to the second floor, uh, through the hallway towards the where I hoped they would be. I glanced at the classroom after classroom and finally saw the scene I was looking for. Dragon on the floor with a, a fist cleansed looking annoyed as hell. Standing above her was Rooster, holding a silenced pistol, aiming at her. Rooster, really? That's who it is, it's Rooster's timeline. Why are you killing everyone, Rooster? Uh, it seems as though I made it uh, just in time. But as I thought, I bolted into the classroom. Rooster, stop. Oh, Mouse. Good thing you're here. You can help me with this. Wait, what? Help with what? I'm uh, containing you, of course. I was minding my own business, and all of a sudden you attacked me. Good thing I found this uh, this discarded gun in the hallway. A little, uh... So it discarded. Okay. Oh, I, uh, I'd really be screwed. The hell? Uh, that's not how it went down at all. I was the one running my own business, and he just uh, came up and attacked me for the, no good reason. He's an actor. He also, also the fact that, uh, you know, horse was killed by a gun. Mouse, I'm the victim here. You gotta believe, I do believe you. I know, Dragon. You do? I do. Hey, wh why's that? You don't really trust me, Mouse. I did, Rooster, until I uh, put it all together. Put it together? Mouse, uh, you're... This, this idiot also said he did it as well. He confessed. The whole... And I told him. To, I think I told him to shut up as well. That's the problem. He was too. He played the uh, the game of being too stupid to be believable. Uh, Mouse, you're being awfully vague right now. 
Mind letting me, uh, me into whatever big revelation you had? Okay, I will. Rooster, you're the one who killed Ox. He was like a bunny and horse. The hell? Is that right? Honestly, I can hardly believe it either. Could Rooster, that moronic, pompous douchebag, pull up uh, uh, something as ruthless as calculating as this? I completely went against uh, my image of him. Yes, he could have. But this is where the evidence led me uh, to. From here, I only had, uh, it could only let my god logic guide me. Interesting hypo, uh, Mouse. Loving your energy. You're really uh, portraying the misguided uh, vigilante role well. Nice stance, nice uh, diction. Ever c uh, considered acting? You think I'm acting right now? Well, I think you're acting out of line. Ayo! Okay, that was a smart one, right? Given the situation. Yeah. Rooster, look, look. Okay, I get it. You're like a detective or whatever. Uh, that's your shtick. Uh, that's a cool shtick. I love your shtick. But you gotta put time, uh, it's, we gotta make a time and place for it. There are cool times to use your shtick and lame times to use it. Uh, just a handy guide. Cool times to use the detective shtick, uh, accusing commoners, pointing at the, uh, people walking away from a bomb. Um, are we accused? So he's calling himself a commoner? Lame times to use the shtick, accusing me. Being racist? What? Okay. Uh, oh, is he accusing us of being racist? To give you a quick rundown, first I beg of you, please just let me explain. Oh, just give me my explanation. Um, oh, you were trying to be uh, to start a monologue? Then by all means, go, please go ahead. Fall yours. Uh, okay. He's an idiot, but he knows a time and place. Okay. All the same, uh, as I was saying, Rooster, you're the one who rigged uh, Ox's death trap. You broke the ceiling above uh, where it was going to sit. You broke three sides of it, um, so it would uh, angle down, uh, dangle down. Then you place some kind of uh, some kid's speaker up on the ceiling, uh, set up the music on the MP3 uh, to be real creepy, and took its remote. He it was also the one who found the, the note, so he could have just made it himself. You poured a decent uh, amount of oil onto the tile, um, uh, and then you uh, delicately set it up that uh, where it was sitting safely. Flash forward to the actual ritual, the person who uh, turned on the music is you. Depending on uh, where you put the remote, you could probably hit the uh, play without needing to free hand. Then when horse was standing up uh, to do his thing, you uh, cranked up the volume drastically. Uh, the sudden vibrations in the ceiling made the tile uh, come loose. Uh, spilling oil all over Ox uh, to get it so that uh, the tile would come loose at the volume. You might have practiced a few times uh, spilling the oil uh, on the tile. Uh, regardless, right after the oil had fallen onto Ox, you threw a, st uh, a statically charged some. Uh, you threw a statically charged something at Ox. Um, I can't even uh, begin to guess exactly what it was, but whatever it was, it worked. Uh, Ox was lit on fire, everyone panicked and fled, and in the darkness and brightness of chaos, um, nobody even noticed when you uh, knocked the tile back up to the ceiling and fled. Judging by the positioning of the circle, you'd uh, have been one of the people back in the back of the room. Uh, so there weren't really eyes on you ever since, uh, since everyone else had already fled. You know, I totally could have d uh, done all that. I mean, some might say uh, something, stu uh, something stupid like, hey rooster. How do you have time to set any of that up? Uh, with m mouse was watching. But we weren't watching. Uh, but they underestimated my speed, see? Uh, see, the key, the key is when uh, you wander down the hallway to the generator room. Really? All He did all of that then? Again, I beg you to shut up. Rooster, the reason you were able to pull something off ridiculous is because of uh, the stage. Was, uh, you set the stage for it perfectly. The ritual is perfect for you, turning off the lights, supplying the weapon, uh, guaranteed... Supplying the, the weapons, gu uh, guaranteeing when uh, where everyone was seated with precise accuracy. Uh, but on the other hand, there were a number of things weird about it. Why was the uh, only no uh, no this the only note written in blood? Because it wasn't written by Brian. Would Brian really uh, give a, a, us a task? This could... Uh, um, you went, yeah, well, Ryan, uh, would Ryan really give us a task that could be, uh, the skip the rest of the game? 
Why well, change up the order of, of where every, everyone sat? Uh, it all makes sense if you assume that the whole thing was uh, nothing more than your script. So now I'm uh, giving Brian the orders? Uh, not at all. You simply found uh, the safe first. You saw the true contents, emptied it out. The gun was inside there. Okay, and plan to use the safe for your near ends. You need to make it believable, which is why uh, you put the needle in the safe. Uh, a needle you probably got from the nurse's office, and which is why you made it sound like it was a, a cryptic ritual. And then everybody, uh, once everybody was set up, you waited to mark us, uh, to mark for a mark to discover the ritual with you. Uh, you act as a, uh, and you act as an alibi until uh, that point, making us uh, making use of your blind faith uh, in whatever we find in the safe. Clever stuff, I've got to say. However, uh, even you couldn't disguise it perfectly. All the other notes were printed out, but uh, you didn't copy that. Which is why you went to the next big thing, a note written in blood. If dramatic enough, we could conceivably think it was different for no uh, more than a mere artistic license. But uh, where do you get the blood? His own finger. Uh, I bet you, uh, I bet you, uh, you give your body I bet if we give you a body to check, we'd find that you're uh, hiding a wound. Um, even uh, if you really wanted uh, to fill me up, Mouse, all you had to do was ask politely. But wait, you said he also killed Bunny and Horse. What's the story on that? Yes, you wouldn't know about that uh, yet, would you, Dragon? Horse and body, uh, Bunny have uh, been killed. Uh, of course, you wouldn't get uh, you wouldn't get that right away by looking at the scene. When he went missing, while horse uh, was shot through the head, probably with the pistol Rooster is currently holding. Uh, but you just hid uh, Bunny's corpse, uh, didn't you, Rooster? At first, I was curious uh, why you went back, to, uh, went about things like that. However, thinking about it uh, a little more, I realized that it, it needed to be done. Horse was an incredibly dangerous opponent, even tied up like he was. Even if it was just a matter of killing both, uh, then it wouldn't uh, be a, have been a problem. However, if you shot both, uh, the blood would have the blood would have given it away. Uh, you couldn't pin it on your crimes on the escapee. Uh, so you had to strangle uh, the person that you didn't shoot. And strangling a horse seemed uh, a very iffy proposal. Odds are you'd break free from the chair before uh, you could have choked him out. Uh, so when you walked into the room, you started uh, shooting horse. Uh, then you untie the rope uh, on his body, uh, so you can uh, use it to strangle Bunny. After that, you untie Bunny's corpse and drag it, it into a nearby hiding spot, perhaps uh, in some classroom. Now tell me, Dragon, did Rooster ever leave your sight during the search? Yeah, now that you mention it, he did. He went to use the restroom. I didn't think much about it at the time, so I let him go. But thinking about it, you were using the time to kill those two, weren't you? Um, Rooster's uh, departure from Dragonet would naturally have come uh, in the questioning uh, after the bodies were discovered, which is why Rooster planned on uh, cleaning up the loose ends before that happened. You planned on killing Dragon here, uh, and coming up with the story about Bunny attacking Dragon uh, before fleeing, weren't you? That's why you attacked Dragon. Uh, that's why he's attacking you, Dragon. Uh, you really think that's a, uh, the reason, Mouse? Right. Well, the reason uh, I killed the others... Uh, what? Is it because I have the desperate personality uh, and want to survive by myself? Because you want to be the hero. Is it not because of that? Is that not the case? Truthfully, I had been thinking to myself uh, if that were the case, Rooster's actions would have been rather strange. Alright. Uh, let's cut the crap, Mouse. In that moment, I realised uh, I hadn't been uh, giving Rooster enough credit. Uh, he was a really talented ad actor. You know, you're a really smart girl. I'm impressed, truly, that you figured uh, so much out. But it looks like you didn't figure out why, uh, the why out. How could you? Remember, let me clear. Uh, let me be clear. This, all of this, wasn't driven by Brian. If anything, I should be grateful to Brian. He gave me a chance for revenge. Okay, then. revenge. Do you really think I made uh, Bunny and Horse uh, the suspect haphazardly? Do you uh, think I partnered with uh, with Dragon on a whim? 
everything I've done until now has been to get revenge on four people who ruined my life. Oh, this is an actual, like, yelling sprite. This is new for Rooster. Rooster, what are you talking about? You know, I came from a rich family. Yes, we do. I could have guessed that much. Came from a rich family. Uh, I can't mince words. Uh, it was nice, a charmed ex existence. You know what uh, is great about being wealthy? I was, uh, it, was, it wasn't living in a mansion or having nice food. You tire of those things awfully quickly. No, it was, uh, it was the great freedom it provides. When I realized my calling in life, I knew what to do. My parents paid off uh, for acting lessons, or acting classes, sorry. Uh, took me to see movies and uh, set me up perfectly. I was in control of my life. I could do what I wanted without inter uh, interruption. Until my damned uh, conscience got in the way. See, my parents uh, were always influential in politics. I never quite saw eye to eye with them on many things, but I learned uh, to turn my head. But lately, they were making stranger and worse decisions than before, using their influence in ways I had large uh, disagree disagreements with. And eventually, it became too much. There was a set of uh, legislations and empowered, uh, that empowered the police uh, in our city massively. It expanded the force that they could use. Uh, <laughs> Gave them wide access to methods and surveillance, lowered restrictions needed uh, for warrants. The laws were horrible, uh, flagrantly disrespecting human rights. Yeah, I remember those laws. They passed. You can thank the generous support of my f uh, parents for that. Well, that's th that was the tipping point. I had enough. Uh, me and my parents uh, got into a huge blowout fight over the matter. And before I knew it, I was kicked out, disinherited and penniless. Uh, from heaven to hell, just like that. Wait, you got an argument with your parents and uh, they cut you out of their life? I said they were uh, generous parents, not that they were caring. There's a difference. I guess that's true, yeah. After living it, uh, living it good for so long, it, I felt so low. I felt so low. One or two. To go from living in a complete freedom to being uh, at the mercy of the society. You know how it feels to survive uh, that whiplash? You're right, I don't. Uh, what's this got to do with anything? But uh, gallantly, I survived. I kept pushing. Uh, in the face of it all, I pursued my dreams of becoming a lead actor. But slowly and surely, the dream progressed. I'll admit, it, was, uh, it has been a thorny path so far. But honestly, begun to pick up uh, steam. Well, honestly, well, in that regard, I have to give Rooster some credit. He 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 made a, uh, a choice in life, and he's followed it through really. And he may not be there yet, but as he's saying, it, he's 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 making he's making he's taking steps. That's something I, I cannot take away from Rooster. Uh, I thought I could move past the, that chapter of my life. But I never got a... Uh, so, so what did... Right, Ox, fair enough, because he's in part of the legal system. Same with Bunny. So what does Dragon and Horse have to do with... Uh, you know, why are they the four people who ruined his life? But I never got a... Uh, what brought me there? I never stopped wondering why my parents would do... Uh, what they did. For all their flaws, they weren't bad people. So I kept pestering with them about it. On drunken phone call with my mother later, I got the real story. I knew actually uh, who'd actually be mad at. See, my parents were never, uh, never actually wanted to support the uh, insidious bill. They were just being blackmailed to do it. Turned out, uh, people with the higher places had gotten some material of them. But uh, long short, uh, story short, they were under the thumb of uh, higher powers. Okay, I'm assuming this is a uh, Bunny's off, uh, Bunny's boss, uh, and technically uh, Ox's boss as well. But again, I still don't see what uh, I don't see what a uh, Horse and uh, dragon have to do with this. The city's rotten, Mouse. It's completely uh, em uh, it's empty at its core. Can't say I know everything, but there's something big at play. That's true. A huge Mac Lailing uh, uh, scheme uh, that with the most city uh, powers players uh, wrapped up in it. The police was uh, were suspicious that uh, I stormed it to Amadeus Bowen's office on the day of the, his murder. Uh, they were suspicious of my story. Uh, do you want to know the real re reason I was there? It's because I was looking for documents uh, that would prove his connections uh, to the blackmailing, or blackmailing ring. 
You mean Amadeus Bowen was involved in the ring? Yep. Involved? Pal, he, he, he was one of the kingpins. Though, I guess you could... Uh, the only, uh, you can only blackmail people for so long before it bites you in the behind. Anyways. Uh, when I was at his office, I saw that he uh, contracted a construction worker uh, for private business. So that would be horse. A construction worker. You don't mean... Uh, do you mean horse? Exactly. Turns out the, the big old thug was uh, Bowen's... Uh, on uh, Bowen's payroll. Probably did his uh, dirty work, if I had to guess. Okay, so you're guessing. I follow uh, Morris's trial closely, and uh, the thing also stunk uh, to high heaven. Why wouldn't it? Clearly the other uh, that's involved with, uh, with the blackmailing ring wanted to hide his certain elements in the murder. From what I could tell, the main prosecutor of the case uh, and the chief uh, officer handling the case were both in on it, Bunny and Ox. Exactly. Horse, Bunny, and Ox. Okay. Three of them uh, were the agent of the city staff on the side. Okay. I doubt uh, Horse... I doubt they knew of it, though. Because as, as Horse has said, he, just, he was randomly assigned that one. He was just randomly... Uh, and uh, Bunny was a victim of blackmailing himself. Uh, they weren't just responsible for my rough years, my parents' grief, but countless other injuries and evils. So when presented with the perfect perfect opportunity, I've got to pass it up. Well, the worst part is right. In this timeline, Roos is not even a, a, a traitor, so we still have Pig to deal with and Monkey technically, but Monkey's obviously on our side. But yeah, so we still got now it's three against nine, with um well three against six because nine uh, three of us are dead. Who other uh, than I would take the opportunity to rise to uh, rid this world of these evil doers? Of course, he wants to play hero. So that was your plan. Or is anyone connected with the blackmailing ring? Exactly. Initially, I wasn't planning on doing anything. Just focusing on my own survival uh, was good enough. Don't get involved. Don't do anything stupid. You do a lot of stupid already. Um, but the more I thought about it, the more I realized, I realized now was my only chance. The chaos and the darkness uh, of this race will erase what happens here. The truth will be written uh, by the survivors. True, history is written by the winners. So then, where does Dragon come uh, into all this? Ah, Dragon. Uh, she's the biggest thing they're all. Uh, oh yeah? Yeah. See, I refer, uh, refer to my parents for the past tense uh, for a reason. They were recently hit in a, killed in a hit and run. Perhaps it was an accident. More likely a murder. Maybe it was something uh, to do with the recent uh, uh, def uh, defection of the blackmailing uh, group. All I know is what I saw. And the person who was visiting them at the time of the accident, I saw the person who drove away from the crime scene. I saw Dragon. What the hell? It wasn't me. Yes, it was. I saw you up close. I recognized you right away. But definitely the person I saw that day. You must work with the blackmailing ring uh, too. That's why you uh, you did what you did. He is... He, he's not crazy. He's just stupid and angry. You're lying. I haven't killed anyone. You're lying about the whole thing. Listen... Mouse, this guy's uh, just telling one big story to cover his behind and s gain sympathy from you. You really gonna stand there and listen to this? I'm gonna listen to it, but I'm not gonna. I don't get away with it. Mouse, I realize that uh, what this might look like to you. I know I've been deceiving you. I know I've killed three people already. But knowing what I've, uh, I've told you, can you really say I'm wrong? Look me in my eyes and tell me that uh, these people don't deserve to die. Uh, that we uh, wouldn't be doing the world a service to get rid of them. I'm not the villain here, Mouse. I'm the hero. You're, psych you're a psycho. Uh, that is what you are. Uh, Mouse, <laughs> deck this fool. I stood there, frozen. I, I took in... Uh, hopefully Dog and Tiger are going to show up, please. I took in everything I heard. Uh, no one deserves to die. Uh, yeah. No one, no one... Why does anyone deserve to die? If, if this is uh, here's my hot take. Maybe we shouldn't be killing anyone right now, huh? Yeah. Are you seriously both uh, looking at me confused? Look up Rooster. Uh, I saw you kill Dragon. Uh, I know you saw Dragon kill your parents. Dragon? I know Rooster. He has already killed three people. But let's calm and look at the situation right now. We're currently in a death game with a very lives on at stake. And uh, and since Rooster hasn't wasn't the traitor, um, there's still one known unknown enemy out there. 
Frankly, we can sell everything uh, else once we uh, take off the cars. Uh, but for now, while all our beh uh, behinds are on the line, how about we refrain from passing judgment and just uh, get our stuff together? Can you both do that for me? Rooster and Dragon both in silent, and then they start fighting, I bet you. I bet this is what happens. Uh, they didn't quite know how to respond to this. Uh, I wasn't quite sure what came over me uh, just there. It just felt good. I mean, I'm not the type to, uh, I'm not the one trying to kill anyone. I know Rooster lowers. If Rooster lowers his gun, uh, we aren't going to have any problems. Uh, please do that Ro very well. Uh, thank you, Rooster. I've already gotten three <laughs> three fourths of my revenge. Okay, fair enough. Right, we're leaving it there with your three fourths of the revenge. Um. Okay. Okay, so it's gonna take me a while to, to process what I've learned, really. But uh, there's more information about Rooster. But uh, with that, thank you for showing up, and hopefully I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.